So I'm going to let you in on a little secret that I use when, you know, how to tell, how to know if somebody is your twin flame, right? And what I like to do is there's a lot of trial and error that goes into this, right? Because it's like you have to, like, converse with people and you have to understand what their what their core values are and everything right so the best way that I've found that of meeting that special person and meeting my true love I go down to the women's prison once a week once a week does it I mean, you can whatever your sexual preference is go to the women's prison go to the man's prison what you do is you grease, you know, you grease the the guard there a little bit of money each week and they roll out the lineup. And you're like, you know, you're behind that that uh that mirrored glass and you're kinda like, oh hello, Miss Four Six Nine Seven Three Two Four Seven. You that's it. She might be it. So what this does is like a lot this gives you an entire world of possibility here because like you know where they are all the time right so there's no there's no like jealousy going on like oh you know where's your twin blame well, right now she's oh it's yard time or oh she's she's in the she's in the cafeteria having dinner and in a couple hours you know it's lights out so I, I don't have to worry. I can go about my merry day and not have to really, you know, put too much thought on, you know, is she like out with another guy or, you know, what it is, who she talking to or anything like that. It's pretty, it's pretty efficient for where we are, right? Also, the beauty part of this is that bing, bam, boom, like visitation rights, you know? Like, I schedule when I want to meet with this person, and, and and normally I, like, have a lineup, and then, you know, meet with a couple of them afterwards, so I can get a feel of of whether or not they're my twin flame. It It's, like, such a win-win. And, like, oh, you know, if they're in there for life, then that that's definitely not them. So I just, you know, push them aside and focus on the ones that are maybe uh, getting out a little bit, a little bit early on good behavior, possibly. You know, I don't, I don't want them to be in prison the whole time. You know, I definitely like want them to come home in a, in a couple years, maybe be on parole, house arrest, something, so I could get a, a, a good grasp on, you know, where they are at all times and. And so that I don't have to worry that because they got that ankle bracelet on when when they're out of prison, they're on parole, and things. It just works out magnificent. That's my secret. That's what I'm going to share with you. Right? Is that is that how you really truly get to get that reveal on who your on who your true twin flame is? No, of course not. You know, my advice, if you haven't done this already, which is uh, a phenomenal tool in understanding who your true twin flame is, is that to do a love list. And a love list is your core values, what you value in that perfect partner that you desire. And you could do it. Um, what you what you truly value in that partner, or you can just write down like what your core values are, because you're one. So the, they won't. Your core values will always be the same. Um, and this is a list that you can add to, uh, you know, ongoing. It's, you can always add to it. You know, even after you're in union, uh, in harmonious union, you can always 
add to this list as you discover uh, new core values that, that you may have within you uh, or that, you know, new choices that you're making and that you, that you truly value in your heart. And, you know, this isn't to say that like, oh, uh, my, my twin has to have uh, perfect teeth or my, my twin has to be blonde. You know, stay away from the physical aspects of your twin and, uh, you know, really get a solid understanding of like what you truly desire and like something like, um, you know, I, I really desire uh, my twin to be uh, not afraid to be affectionate. Or you know th that uh, my t I, t I really desire my twin to um, to really always want to express themselves and express who they truly are. You know those are core values. I want I want my twin to um, to want children or or to um, you know really uh, care for animals or, or really value uh, the lives of animals. You know, these are all uh, core values that people live by. And, you know, once you understand uh, what your core values are, uh, you know, you could write those down and, and then compare who you believe to be your twin flame, if it hasn't been revealed to you yet, if you, who you believe to be your twin flame, they line up with every single core value that you have. So don't write down a core value that you think uh, they have and you're not sure if, if that's something that you want or not just because uh, that's what they that, – because that's what uh, you see that they may be able to offer. You know, this is something that like write down what it is that you truly desire in, in, your, in your true counterpart. And as you write these things down, they will absolutely 100% line up and reveal who your true twin flame is. And if and if you don't know who your who your twin flame is, this will get get you super clear on uh, what it is that you're looking for. And when you are able to find that person, or when you do come across somebody, you can check down the list and see are the, you know. Do the, do their values match up with yours, and reveal if they are your true, if they're your true twin flame or not, right? So this is a great exercise to use um, to help you get clarity on this subject. And you know, visit asoneguidance.com um, if you are serious about uh, getting guidance on your journey. I do offer a free 15-minute consultation. That will, uh, you know, allow us to have some time to spend together and under and and realize, you know, have that uh, one on one to see if that's if we want to work together, right? Because I am committed to helping people along this journey, and I am looking for uh, those people that are 100% committed to themselves, and you know, not not willing to give up on themselves and willing to uh, see this whole thing through to the end. Also, subscribe and leave a comment down below, and I will see you all next time.